Move now to Puerto Rico and concerns that a dam could fail at any moment. Thousands of people under a flash flood warning. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is right there. This morning, uncertainty in Puerto Rico. Many anxiously waiting and watching the Guataca Dam. Authorities fearing it will collapse at any moment. Water already rushing through a partially collapsed spillway. Nearly 8,000 people downstream being told to get out. All across the island, calls for help. We called 911 five or six times and they never responded. International Red Cross and aid workers now pouring in. ABC News riding along with those crews into San Juan on a Delta relief flight to get help and much needed supplies on the ground. One of the major hurdles, communication. Cell phone service is minimal and what does exist is mainly in San Juan. Many families still haven't been able to connect with loved ones in other areas. My family lives in the west side in Cabo Rojo. I went yesterday trying to get there, but then the, the highway was closed. This morning, many families are desperate, focused on basic needs. With no power, most are using generators. Now, days after Maria made landfall, they need gas to keep them going, creating long lines at gas stations with no guarantees of actual gas. How long have you been waiting for gas? For three hours. What are you going to do? Are you going to try again tomorrow? Sure. Uh, be here uh, as early as possible. Um, and the governor here has extended the curfew indefinitely. He's telling people to stay off the streets from 7 p.m. until 5 a.m. Guys. Eva Pilgrim reporting uh, from Puerto Rico this morning. Thanks, Eva. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.